It's great to be back. And it's great to be able to speak to this audience for the first time as chair of the PLSA. So we are very proud of this piece of work that's just, that, that's just come out. Uh, there are four big key themes that have uh, been produced in the report, which is LGPS employers, LGPS savers, operational sustainability and the complexity of the regulatory and operating environment. We need to share perhaps a little bit better recruitment and retention best practice and how we can continue to make sure there's consistency. It'd be really interesting to hear their views on the recommendations that are posed and also what they think the priorities should be for the PLSA going forward. There was an earlier session this morning which was around the scheme advisory boards and annual reports which I found to be quite insightful so again something for me to read afterwards. It's just really nice to be back face to face. We've done a lot on teams, but collaboration is much better face to face. The LGPS PLSA conference is particularly relevant, I think, for local authorities because it focuses solely on LGPS issues. The 6.9 million people we're talking about here. We're talking about dinner ladies. We're talking about cleaners. We're talking about part-time staff who rely on this money for clothing, for rent, for food, for heating. We're working with, with a bunch of departments and actually they're seeing it as, as quite a big opportunity to, to interact with their members and get the message across. So I'm going to attempt to give a, a, a tour of the Pensions Dashboard ecosystem, as it's called, in 150 seconds. Now I, I had a couple of friends around for dinner last night and I tried this out on them. I don't think they'll come again. The session on the dashboard that I've just attended, I thought that was really interesting. I thought Richard Smith was a fantastic presenter. Network with people, understand what's happening, get the ideas of what's happening that we can then take back to Cornwall and implement and make things better for our own fund. The main thing that sort of came from the session is we don't really know what the next six months are going to look like. There's concerns about recession, so I imagine we'll be discussing a lot of that. Pensions are actually a brilliant example of cross-party success. Pensions, <coughs> pensions policy is one of the few areas where we had a problem, we managed to get cross-party agreement, we have addressed a large part of the problem. We want to recognise the successes of the LGPS and to come together and to discuss and be reminded to so many people who help to make our local communities thrive. It is actually um, buzzing. Um, everybody's been away for so long. There's some great debates and we've got a lot of catching up to do. You really learn a lot about the LGPS and what's going on. The LGPS PLSA conference is particularly relevant, I think, for local authorities. Plenty of time for networking, lots of discussions. 